Hey, student success. We are now in week four of our semester. So hopefully things are going well for you in all of your classes. And we are getting to like the 25% point in our particular class since we run all 16 weeks. So as a reminder, hopefully at this point, you may not need the start here section as often, but Again, it's a great place to go for some resources and some general questions. Under the lessons area, as I have done the last couple uh, videos, I just want to point out again your student services assignment. Now, because you are a 16 week course, you have a lot of time left still. My eight week courses, um, they're already kind of getting shortened because they're done in mid-March, but you have until the very end of the semester. But we've already missed obviously all of January at the point that you'll be watching this video. Um, so we are into February. What I really like about this is I'm kind of looking at it is, you know, all the different availability. We have like four o'clock sessions. We have morning sessions. We have some evening sessions. And so I really do think it works with a lot of different schedules. But what I also like to encourage my students is please don't just pick one just to pick one, just because you're like, oh, I've got to get this assignment done. Really look through and see what would be interesting, what would be helpful, even if it's one that doesn't come until after spring break. I mean, again, you have until uh, like that first week of May or so to get it finished. So if you need to wait to, to find one that you really are interested in, please feel free to do so because you're a 16 week course, you have a little bit of time, uh, but you'll see there's only one in May and then they do have some pre-recorded workshops. Um, so there are just a couple of those, but please check out your workshop listing. You register through my Start State. I have had more trickle in the past you know, week or so, so make sure that you are at least looking at that and thinking ahead so that you don't get to like the end of April and none of the workshops appeal to you, but you feel like you, you I mean, you have to take one just to get the points. So I really want you to take one that is helpful to you. Okay, so we are in week four, so I'll scroll down here to week four. What's nice about this is week three, we're in chapter four. Week four, we're still in chapter four. We're continuing. So uh, in terms of lecture, uh, I'm not going to have a lot to go over because we already talked about it last week. So what I'll do is I'll probably leave the week three video up because it covers chapter four. So as a, a reminder, your materials folder has your links to your textbook and then any slides. So chapter four, hopefully you watched last week's video already. So this is going to be familiar. I'm not going to go through this whole thing, but it talked about listening, note taking and remembering. And so we went through and we talked about, you know, the different things to focus on in terms of how to be prepared for class, the most effective ways to make sure that you're listening in class, especially if you're in an in-class, or excuse me, face-to-face, -face, like in-person class, but also a lot of this applies to when you're listening to lectures. Uh, and then it transitions into note-taking and different methods of note-taking, some tips, and then missing class as well as some memory techniques. And of course, your link to chapter four in your textbook goes into more detail about these different components and hopefully you spent some time last week if you didn't hopefully this week you know clicking on anything that you feel would be beneficial to look more into detail on okay so again i'm not going to relecture the whole chapter rather i'll leave uh, week three's video up so if you wanted to hear the lecture over chapter four you can go back and listen to that so that is chapter four as a reminder the week of chapter of four dealing with chapter four you only have one assignment, chapter four assignment, and there's a note here. There is no discussion forum this week. So I believe this is your first week without a discussion forum, which means that um, your attendance is based upon completion of the chapter four assignment by Sunday. So there's no Wednesday assignment post, um, you know, message posting or anything like that. You are just completing chapter four assignment by Sunday, February 14th, happy Valentine's Day, uh, to get not only the assignment points, but also your credit for week four. So make sure that you are completing that again, because it's like kind of double duty. It hits your assignment points, but also your attendance points for week four. So if you don't submit that assignment, you obviously lose the assignment points, but then you're marked absent for the week. So so let's go over the assignment here. If we click into the assignment folder, here it is. You'll click right here is the actual document. So chapter four, it'll open up into a Word document. 
here's what it looks like. So chapter four was all about like listening, note taking, and memory. So you'll see each of those three are listed right there. And so what you're going to do is think about what do you need to improve upon when it comes to listening? What do you need to improve upon when it comes to note taking? And what could you improve with your memory? For each of those areas, you're going to come up with two things, two actions, uh, two strategies, resources, whatever you want to, uh, to do. And you can go back and refer to your textbook on these or the, the PowerPoint, or maybe you just know certain things you want to try and you just haven't tried it yet. So what two things could you do to improve your listening? What two things could you do or try to improve your note taking? And what two things can you do or try for your memory? When will you take that action? Well, maybe for some of you, you have a face-to-face -face class. And so your answer might be for two of the three, the next time I sit in my face-to-face -face class. For some of you, maybe it's not going to be until next semester where you really have to try to improve your listening because you don't have a class in person until then and you, you feel like your listening online is okay. Uh, so when you expect to take the action, is it this week, this month? tomorrow, you know, so when, and then how will you know you accomplish the action? So are you going to see improvement somewhere? Is it going to be in a test score? Is it going to be just knowing that you don't have to go back and, you know, fill in blanks so much because you got a better note-taking strategy? You know, how are you going to know? Like, how are you going to measure basically that you accomplished your action and you've improved upon these different areas? So once you fill out this table, you'll save it. And you can save it as a Word or a PDF, whatever works for you. And then you'll go into the actual chapter assignment right there. You'll click on it. Scroll down. You're going to browse your files. Find wherever it is. Hit open. And then hit submit. And then that'll allow me to grade it. And you'll know it's there because it'll say do not attach, meaning that it's already attached. And that'll allow me again to see it for grading purposes. All right, so that's it really. This week is short and sweet in terms of the video. Uh, so you have one assignment, chapter four assignment. Please make sure you complete it by Sunday, February 14th for both assignment and attendance purposes. If you need anything, let me know. Have a great week and happy Valentine's Day on the 14th. Bye.